It's Alabama Talk here on Mark Rogers TV each and every Wednesday night with Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama. So check it out, touchdownalabama.net. You can join Stephen and the rest of the staff for in-depth coverage of Alabama athletics, not just football, but across the board. Uh, Stephen joins me every Wednesday night as we talk Alabama football. So you've got the complete conversation here live on YouTube at Mark Rogers TV. Also, it's uploaded if you want to catch the, the entire conversation or... We edit it down into individual segments. If you just want to key in on one particular player topic or discussion for a quick two or three minute hit, we've got the entire broadcast also available on iTunes and Podbean for you Alabama football fans. So we talk nothing but tied each and every week, but sometimes there's a story that comes across uh, the landscape of college football that is just too big to ignore. Bob Stoops, regardless of his uh, popularity or lack thereof in the SEC because of some of the comments that he's uh, made in recent years to kind of uh, stir the rivalry with uh, the SEC. One of the landmark coaches in the recent history of college football has announced today that he is stepping down in Norman after 18 years at Oklahoma University. Stephen M., your thoughts about uh, Bob Stoops and uh, this uh, very surprising uh, decision that he's made? I am saddened by it. B Bob Stoops has been coaching Oklahoma for as long as I've been alive, and I've been living since 1993. Bob Stoops has been in Oklahoma since, I want to say, 1998-99. So for 18 years, you don't see coaches in the game that long anymore. Of course, we had the great uh, Frank Beamer at Virginia Tech for 30-plus years. When you look at Bob Stoops, what he brought to that program, the character, the heart, of course, a national championship in 2000 with a quarterback by the name of Josh Heupel, great individual on that side. Uh, Bob Stoops produced a bionic running back in Adrian Peterson, a Heisman winner in Jason White. Just the accolades continue to grow and he's one of he's one of few coaches behind Saban that stand high in top 10 and, and, and 10 plus win seasons winning percentage as when, when it comes down to the numbers for coaches that win how consistent they are in winning how consistent they are and getting their teams to bowl games you know Bob Stoops is right there and it, it's hurt it's a hurting thing. It's saddening. You and I mentioned off the air, Mark, about him just bringing in his best recruiting class he's had in the last eight or nine years or so, and also him convincing Baker Mayfield, who had a heck of a season last year. He's coming back you know, for his senior year, and Mayfield has a chance to possibly win the Heisman Trophy. It's You, you didn't want to see it happening this way, of course, all the, the Joe Mixon at running back, the stuff that he went through with the domestic violence thing coming down and all the external factors outside. But as far as coaching is concerned, you know, Bob Stoops, one of my favorite coaches, when you talk about guys wearing the visor, you lose Steve Spurrier and now you lose Bob Stoops. It's, um, it's a very testing time. But Lincoln Riley, who's been the coach in waiting for a while in Oklahoma, inherits a very good team and he's done a great job himself in recruiting and getting the best play out of the quarterbacks wide receivers and running backs at the Sooners have brought in I expect nothing but greatness from Lincoln Riley to carry the program forward but with Stoops stepping down this this comes as a huge shock yeah so Bob Stoops has had to uh, endure much criticism for losing big games and much of that criticism is deserved because he makes a ton of money as do the elite coaches in college football five six seven million dollars per year so that goes along with the gig however Bob Stoops has been unduly criticized for losing big games you need to look at the entirety of the record and I think in this era of first the BCS and now the college football playoff, too much emphasis has been placed on reaching that final two or that final four and then going on and winning the national championship. Yes, we here in America value winning it all and being number one and number two doesn't count. Uh, it's an extremely competitive sport. You've got 128 FBS teams. You've got roughly 65 teams playing power five college football you have dominant programs like Alabama, Ohio State, Florida State, USC, elsewhere. It is difficult to finish as the one lone man, one lone team standing. Bob Stoops, as you mentioned, Stephen, was able to do that in his second season at Oklahoma in 2000. Actually, he was uh, 
first uh, the head coach at Oklahoma, and I was covering uh, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, and Alabama there uh, in the state of Mississippi and uh, covered the bowl game against Ole Miss, his first uh, postseason experience as a head coach there at Oklahoma against uh, David Cutcliffe at the time. Uh, so he's moved on since then, and I think it gets disregarded because, again, the attention's on the playoff. It's on the BCS when we were uh, experiencing that era, and his conference domination has been ignored on the national landscape. He dominated the Big 12. Now, the Big 12 right now and over the past couple of years has most likely been the worst conference out of the Power Five, but that hasn't always been the case. Texas was Texas up until about 2000. 10 or 11. Some other programs, Oklahoma State has been extremely competitive under Mike Gundy going to BCS games on a fairly regular basis. And uh, some other programs have been extremely strong, including Kansas State in the Big 12 and the emergence of TCU. He has dominated that conference uh, repeatedly, 10 conference championships during his time there. He uh, took a program that was run-oriented, an offense that was run-oriented and it kind of slipping uh, a bit before his emergence and revolutionizing uh, the passing game at Oklahoma with the likes of Sam Bradford. And before that, you mentioned uh, Josh Heupel, uh, of course, uh, Jason White winning the Heisman Trophy in 2003 as well. Yes, a couple embarrassments, and I think this has been the case at a few other schools, have been magnified and completely blown out of proportion, the USC loss, the LSU loss in the Sugar Bowl that would have won two other national championships for, for Bob Stoops during his first few seasons have been blown out of proportion. But if you overall look at the record of getting to 11 or 12 BCS games or major bowl games and uh, just, just the dominance within the conference and running a clean program, yes, you're going to have kids run amok and he gained some criticism in, in his handling of Joe Mixon. But before that video ever hit um, uh, public consumption, that's when the hammer came down from the public scrutiny was once we saw the video. But Bob Stoops had already dealt with that. He already suspended Joe Mixon for an entire football season, uh, completely kicked off the team, void of any football activity. So he had dealt with that pro pro problem. So – Despite what any one of us felt about uh, the severity of the punishment, Bob Stoops already dealt with it, and, and it was just the shock of seeing the video that brought a lot of other uh, media criticism and public scrutiny uh, into play. So, Stephen, any other thoughts about Bob Stoops? I'm going to miss seeing him. I'm going to definitely miss seeing him out there coaching. I'm going to definitely miss seeing that face, you know, in the Big 12. Because as you mentioned, Mark, he dominated the Big 12, whether, you know, despite – the years Kansas State was good, the years Texas was good prior to, you know, losing Colt McCoy and Vince Young. And if you look at Missouri, when Missouri was good under Gary Pink, when a quarterback by the name of Chase Daniel, Oklahoma was running the Big 12. So I, I'm going to miss Bob Stoops. As I mentioned, he's left the program in good hands. Lincoln Riley, a young coach, he's going to know what to do. Uh, the guys have already rallied around him. They've shown him much respect, much love but I'm going to miss Bob Stoops. Yeah, and it was always interesting to hear what uh, Bob Stoops might say as he was a bit irritated by the dominance of the SEC, both the reality of the dominance of the SEC, but also the reported dominance. And when he thought that was a little bit overplayed by the national media, Bob Stoops would chime in. And uh, he was very successful during his final few outings against the SEC, of course, the 2014 Sugar Bowl surprise upset of the Crimson Tide, and uh, of course, a couple uh, dates against Tennessee, home and home recently, and then his final uh, contest uh, of his career, as it turns out to be, uh, coming against the Auburn Tigers and winning that game going away in the second half. He, um, he definitely showed up against Alabama. I get that to him. He had Trevor Knight ready to play, and I remember that game, Trevor Knight went 32 of 44, for over 300 yards, four touchdowns, no, four touchdowns, one pick. He he carved this up. So uh, Bob Stoops definitely had Trevor Knight ready to play. 
So we'd like uh, everyone to know that uh, at 7.30 Eastern Time, 6.30 Central, after Bob Stoops' uh, news conference, in which we may gain a little bit more insight into the surprise decision that he's made, because as Stephen mentioned, after dominating the Big 12 and being a huge favorite to win the conference and have that uh, almost certain pass to the college football playoff this year, coming off his best recruiting class as well in the last seven or eight years, uh, a surprise decision by Bob Stoops, and we may get a little bit more insight uh, in the next few minutes on that decision. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Graham Dudley from Crimson and Cream Machine, the uh, SB Nation platform for Oklahoma Athletics, to discuss uh, the announcement of Bob Stoops stepping down at uh, Oklahoma University. All right, Stephen, it's always a good time. We appreciate it. Uh, we will catch you next week. Uh, always want to let everyone know that we're talking Alabama football here each and every Wednesday night. No problem, Mark. Hey, thank you.